All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go over the ingredients that we need to make up a hut. Now we have one large catfish, but we're not gonna use it all. We just want to show you what we got and what we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna use only a certain amount of it. Uh, so we have one catfish, or actually not one catfish, but we have catfish. Uh, we decided to use catfish. You can use any type of fish you want. Uh, over there you have your salt, MSG, sugar, black pepper, garlic. Uh, we have baking powder, and we have a uh, we have a uh, oyster sauce. Now we're making two versions of a uh, pahat, and the other version is uh, a grung version. So that's our lemongrass paste that we already uh, pre-made and uh, we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna uh, modify this paste uh, to add, it, add in a little heat so we're gonna take it out uh, put it back in the motor and uh, add some dry chili so that's our that's our list of ingredients and that's what we're making today alright guys let's get to it okay so we took a section of the catfish um, uh, pretty much the, towards the middle where it had most of the meat and my mom's gonna go ahead and uh, fillet it, take off all the meat. Just like them. You wanna take off the skin? Okay, so we're gonna do that to the rest of the fish. Okay, so now that we took off all the meat from the catfish, my mom's gonna go ahead and cut it into uh, small pieces. Uh, if you could find a ground fish uh, of your preferred choice, or you have a, uh, what do you call it? One of those machines that uh, make ground, you know, beef, ground turkey, and so on and so forth, you can use that. If not, you know, you have to do it by hand. Okay, once you have your catfish all cut into uh, smaller pieces, you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, ground it all up on the cutting board. Alright guys, so uh, our fish is grounded nice, and we're going to go ahead and um, use some lemongrass paste. We have about, about three to four tablespoons of our lemongrass paste. And with this, we're going to go ahead and add in some heat. Add as much uh, dried chili as you want to. So we're showing uh, you one of two ways to make this a pot, and this one, uh, this version requires the lemongrass paste. Okay, so we have about a teaspoon of MSG, and we have a very small amount of salt about another teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. So one teaspoon of MSG and one teaspoon of salt. So what you want to do is mix your fish and your lemongrass paste together in the motor. But Okay guys, so for version 2, we're going to go ahead and need um, a couple of pieces of garlic, about 5 to 6 pieces, and we're going to add it into our motor, and ground it all up. Okay, so our garlic is nice and, uh, you know, grounded. We're going to go ahead and add in some black pepper into our fish, about 1 teaspoon. Scald. About, so about a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of MSG, and we have about a less than a tablespoon of salt. We also have oyster sauce. That's a good amount. Right. And we have our baking powder. Uh, you don't want to add too much. Uh, from what I can see, that looks like about one 
teaspoon or so. So you want to go ahead and add in all of your ingredients uh, into the motor. And we're going to mix it up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in some uh, green onions. Okay, so we have our two versions of bahut or meat patties. Um, so my mom's going to go ahead and mold it and put it into the frying pan. Okay, my tato. So with some oil on your hands, you want to go ahead and mold your meat patty. Bad. So that's one of the versions and she has another version that she's making. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so the bahut is done, uh, so we uh, deep fried it. You can also pan fry it if you want to, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a piece and try it out. So it's nice and kind of flaky. Got some of my uh, rooster sauce. So I like to uh, eat it with. Mm. Mm. It was good. It was real good. Um, my favorite bahut with fish. Um, you guys got to give it a try. Um, with that uh, lemongrass paste. This is great. Mm. Alright. So that's my mom's bahut. Um, give it a try. I mean... It's I love it. Uh, it's real good. You guys can keep it up in the fridge for, you know, about a week before you cook it if you want to. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, Bahut. Thanks for watching, guys.